Hey, I'm Ray back with another video. It's 5.39 p.m. It is March 30th. It is Wednesday afternoon, getting close to the evening. And in a little bit, I'm going to be taking a shower and just kind of tidying up my house. And I just want to come on here and make a video um, tell everyone how I've been doing. Um, I'm doing a little better, you know. Um, I the, the key is to stay busy, is to stay busy. And of course, I go through this whole thing, you know, backtracking, like, what happened, you know? And it's like, I know what happened, but at the same time, you know, there's those little questions that you're always asking yourself, like, well, why? Like, why out of the blue? And why? And I, I don't know. I, I will never understand exactly why, you know, somebody would do exactly all of that. But um, I, I think that's my biggest issue. It's like, because I feel like my life is kind of stunted like I'm in a, in a spot where you know I enjoy my daily activities but when it comes to my personal growth I feel like I'm stunted like they kind of cut off certain opportunities or certain pathways and maybe they didn't maybe it, they're you know I can do different things like I could pick up different hobbies different interests pick up where I left off but in the back of my mind I kept thinking what if they blocked that too you know and sometimes I just get like, what am I doing? You know, like, am I, I feel like sometimes I'm in a, in a, in a dead zone. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, um, keeping busy, like I said, is, is the key um, to keeping my sanity, uh, which I do that, you know, um, sometimes I bring my work home, which is nice. And then um, sometimes, you know, everybody needs a break, even from work sometimes. So, you know, like um, in my free time, you know, I do go back to my arts and crafts, okay? And I know I've been persecuted for my little love of arts and crafts. And, uh, you know, I think there was a big issue. And I'm not trying, I don't want to go into arguing or debating because this is it. But um, I do think that, you know, people always label other people. People like putting people in comfortable little boxes so that they can perceive, understand, and try to relate to you and I was upset you know for a while because people continually focused on this artistic side of me I would I don't see myself as artistic and the reason why I don't see myself as artistic is because I can't really draw a lot of the pictures that I do make I trace them and then I put them in different backgrounds and then I kind of make something out of it myself I like color um, I use it as a form of therapy for myself. Um, now I do make little dolls and, and refrigerator, refrigerator magnets, keychains, stuff like that. Cookie little stuff. Um, it's a hobby and it's, it's very, um, uh, stress relieving, you know what I mean? And I enjoy it, you know, and I do like making things, uh, mostly for children. Okay. Or people who have that young type spirit, you know, there's a lot of adults who like things like Hello Kitty and stuff like that. So I like making cute little things like that. Um, it bothered me when I realized that people perceived me as an artist because, um, you know, I think as an African American person, we have a very hard time, um, in work. When it comes to looking for work, we, we have a lot of issues when it comes to preconceived ideas and so on and so forth. And um, it's really important. I think just about any person of color will tell you this. Well, they probably won't tell you this, but it's certainly that's get talk, it's talked and spoken about among our people um, that, you know, we do have a hard time in the workplace, mainly because of the preconceived ideas that have been going on for centuries about us. And so it's important for us to, you know, conduct ourselves and, 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 and be seen for our intellectual abilities, which is very difficult for a lot of people because they're pre, pre, they pre, uh, their preconceived ideas about people of color is mainly based on things that they've seen in TV or those, some, those oddities that you might see every once in a while out in the street or whatever, but they try to paint that on everyone and not everyone's like that um, there's different varieties and different people like you know um, I see a variety of white people you know I've seen the ones that are into the country music I've seen some walking around with no teeth I've seen some that are very scummy I've seen some that are very high class and we have the same in every mixture I've seen um, black people in the same variety Mexicans in the same variety, Asians in the same variety, <laughs> not as much, not, not very many scummy <laughs> um, Asian people, mind you, but still what I'm saying is, is that, you know, everyone has a different variety within a group, okay? So when people perceived me to be an artist, I was a little upset about that, but at the same time, I have a great appreciation for art. Now, I may not be 
artistic to the point of where I can draw because most of my people the people that I draw are like stick people I still can't draw a, a tree worth shit right but um I do enjoy my arts and crafts and I would say that when it comes to what I collect around my home that is a large amount of what I put my focus on like if I go to Michael's or something I might pick up a bag of beads or um, stickers or something along those lines because I know I'm going to use that eventually and I just started picking up my crafts again which I think has done a tremendous amount of good for me because it helps me relieve stress you know um, but no, I, I don't consider myself to be an artist, but at this point, you know, and this is how I truly feel. Okay. Um, I don't really care what people think of me at this point. You know, I don't, um, I, I think that people either take me as I am or whatever, you know what I mean? I think of, of myself as a person who works hard. I'm a very hard worker and how long can you prove yourself? You know, I, I feel as though, um, you know, uh, I, I've worked for many, many years and, you know, I've always tried to do uh, a good job and, and I feel good that I'm doing a good job where I am right now. Um, but you know, it's, I think in the past, what was bothering me so much is that, uh, I felt as though the little entourage that was arranging all my jobs and whatever was charge, judging me, um, based off of, preconceived ideas not just necessarily based on my race but just preconceived ideas based on their religious views or whatever and um you know um I, i'm more of a I'm, I'm a very independent person so i enjoy my freedom and that's something that i i hold very dear to me um and it's not like i said it's not about rebellion it's more about making my own choices uh, come what may you know what I mean? Um, and I understand, you know, as an adult, I have to take certain things that I do seriously because it's like, you know, I'm, I, it's hard for me to believe, but I am 51 years old. Okay. And when I think about it, it's like, man, you know, um, I, I, I have to follow my dreams, you know what I mean? Whatever those things may be. And it's not like, you know, when I, when I left my parents' home that I had these unrealistic expectations, I figured I'd move to this little small town, which is what I did. And, and enjoy the um, the opportunity of taking advantage of the decent price of rent, which is exactly what I did. And I, I meant to have a very humble life. I didn't, you know, expect to have like, you know, beachfront property or anything like that. I always thought of myself as somebody, something of a realist, okay? Of course, yes, I did have certain dreams that I thought might have been lucrative in the past, you know? Um, and it's unfortunate that um, they didn't take, they felt as though it was their responsibility to thwart or misdirect my my dreams my my goals my ideas you know you know and I I guess I never really had the proper group of people or whatever to help me in those sort of things um it's kind of hard when you don't know the right people you know what I mean <laughs> you know it's not really not what you know it's kind of like who you know in a lot of ways I mean yeah you have to know something but you know it's like you have to know people who can push those those kind of goals ahead and I've never really been in a position to meet like you know people who can publish working works or that sort of stuff you know I I'm a pretty small town person and plus I was kind of in a bubble um you know like for a while my house was under surveillance I had my car under surveillance I believe for a while um and I I don't even know if my phone was tapped or not I mean I don't know but when you have when you're under that sort of surveillance and when they have that so that kind of control over you it's very difficult to break out of that you know and it almost sounds surreal like somebody would actually go through the trouble of actually doing all of that to a person yes and you know when i look at things like facebook there's a bunch of targeted individuals posting their stories venting their frustrations and stuff like that for people who've never experienced i think my god you must be going you must be exaggerating but no it's not and now that we have the technology available to us i mean people are doing it all the time this is like people's favorite pastime you know targeting people that kind of stuff um i i think also um what 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 bothered me is like not it's not just the internal questioning of that like the whole issue of picking me apart and thinking saying that i'm an artist or whatever but it's more the the issue of like why would you do such a thing you know but anyway um I know I'm never going to get any answers, 
you know, and for many targeted individuals who've experienced far worse than I have. Um, and yeah, I mean, I will tell you, if I'm dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder and things like that, obviously I, I've, I have it really bad, but there are some people who, who seriously deal with more. Some people are living in shelters right now. I mean, some people are like out in the street. I see targeted individuals on Facebook, you know, trying to collect funds from other people because they're in a shelter because somebody thought it was funny to play the same kind of go joke on on them, you know. And they didn't get um, they didn't get the kind of assistance and help that I got. So, you know, I do consider myself to be I'm very grateful, um, you know, but. I think about all the other people who are effective about of this and I try to talk about this issue so that people will understand that this is not something to ever play with. It's not a funny joke. It's it's not something that people should ignore. I mean, when it comes to people who run businesses or people who orchestrate or run, when I mean run businesses, that means business owners, people who are in charge of uh, employees, um, bosses, whatever they should never participate in something like this, okay? Because it's very dangerous. And what you think you think is funny could literally cause somebody to go into a heart attack or stroke. It's very stressful for the individual who's dealing with this, you know? Um, I, I don't want to talk about names anymore or, or mention certain individuals. I really don't. I really don't. Um, and I do understand, like, in, in some ways, I do understand like when it comes to some of the Jehovah's Witnesses, um, some of them do things that are not, <laughs> that are not like, you know, what I consider to be um, upstanding, you know. But then again, I also know that many people who grew up in that religion kind of live in their own little bubble. Um, and so what goes on in their world, they don't, they might think that their religion, you know, surpasses even laws of the country because I understand that they're de they're devoted some of them say they're devoted they might be using their their religion as an excuse to do bad things mind you but some people use their religion as a um how can I say this they're they they feel as though what is written in, or their interpretation of what's in the bible should be applied to everybody whether that's their choice or not you know, that's their worldview. And so they, but they don't have the right to impose it on other people. You know what I mean? And I think that also traumatized me a lot because, you know, that was something that I, I moved on from. But I'm not saying that my understanding or, or, or that, that time period in my life as a teenager growing up wanting to study the Bible and that sort of stuff, I'm not saying that that was a bad thing. It was actually a good thing. You know what I mean? Um, I, I, I think it was something that helped me a lot, you know, um, helped me grow a little bit, but it's just a part of my life that, you know, I, I don't really want to be a part of organized religion. And I also don't want other people to think that I try to cast judgment on other people or that I, um, look down on people who choose to be whatever religion. I'm very open-minded. Um, sometimes maybe people think that I'm a little too open-minded because, I'm very accepting of other people, even if their ideas don't even don't coincide with mine or whatever. I, I believe that everybody has this particular life path that they have to live. And it's only it's oh man, that car alarm is going off that, you know, they have to live the path that is drawn out for them. And their their life path is supposed to be controlled by them. And they're going to they're going to be judged based on the choices that they made. And only they and them alone can can make those decisions you know what i mean and then towards the end of their life or at the end of their life that's when they're going to be judged you know and i don't i don't uh i don't want to really argue about anything i basically try my best every day to get over it but like i said i also feel very stuck too i feel very stuck because there's really nothing new coming into my life i, I realize that every day it's like it you know um I, I want my life to be filled with new experiences. You know what I mean? And it's like, um, they're not new <laughs> experiences. And I'm really, I am, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful, but it's like, I don't know what I'm doing at this point in my life, in my personal life. Okay. Um, I, I don't know where I'm at, 
you know, after all of this. And I think that's, that's one of the things that kind of frustrates me. And so this is why I keep continually going through these thoughts over and over and over again, because, you know, I, I don't, you know, I, I need to do something different. Maybe go on a little trip or something. I don't know. Go out of town. Uh, go on a little vacation. I don't know. Where I'm going to go, I have no idea. You know what I mean? Um, I'll probably be traveling by myself. So it's like, you know, I'm a little, a little hesitant to do that. When I was younger, I wouldn't think twice about it. I'd get in a car and go off on my little merry way. But now that I'm older, I realize there's weirdos out there. You know, and now, since being gang stalked, I'm even more aware of it. Like, there's dangers out there. People, you know, people, I have come to understand that there are people out there who want to harm you for no apparent reason. You know what I mean? And it becomes very clear when you become a target. And I'm not necessarily referring to the, to my perps either. I'm talking about the people who were on the sidelines watching and just really felt as though they, they if they could hurt somebody, they would do it. You know what I mean? So I don't trust people, you know, so I have to be very, very careful about those sort of things. Um, but anyway, um, so I, I think I'm okay. I'm okay. But there's a lot of mental issues going on up here. You know what I mean? There's a lot of, uh, you know, depression. And there's also a lot of, you know, the, the constant why, what's going on? Why, why did they do this to me? Why? how could they do this to me you know that sort of thing um and then the whole every once in a while i'll catch myself thinking about my gosh how evil can a person be you know that sort of stuff and it's the same thing over and ever every day every single day you know and it gets monotonous really it does so but no and when it comes to you know my arts and crafts i i think that um it's something that makes me happy and I don't believe that I'm like so uber talented that I can make a million dollars off my art. It's just something joyful that I do. You know, um, I don't consider myself an artist, but if other people want to consider me an artist, I guess I can't change that. You know what I mean? I am, there's a part of me in, in my life right now. Actually, I would say this is how I am at this point in my life. I don't care what other people think of me. I'm trying to get the best out of my life at this moment. Now, um, I think when it comes to, you know, what I do at work or whatever, I, I devote my time to whatever the task is at hand. And I think that, um, you know, I think I've always been that way. And it's unfortunate that the people who are orchestrating my jobs at that time, um, I'm referring to the, who I was being gang stalked by, <clears throat> you know, didn't see that. And they didn't understand that the reason why I was losing my jobs is because I was always losing my jobs based off subjective opinions. And all I really wanted to do was live my life. You know what I mean? And it's unfortunate that, you know, um, people <clears throat> sometimes don't always agree with you, but, and then they want to bully you for, for not seeing things, you know, their way. And, you know, um, I, I don't ever want to come off as somebody who, who judges people because I don't. Um, I and, and I don't want people to think that just because I prefer, I do, I prefer living my life based on my standards. That doesn't mean that I'm snubbing other people's standards and that people can live their life however they want to. But this is what I like to do. The, you know, these are my interests. You know, um, I like my, my craft, arts and crafts. I like anything mystical. I'm very much into, you know, the supernatural and and I know that doesn't really jive well with the people that I used to know and I know that I was criticized a lot for it um but it's my world you know what I mean um it's it's really the only world that I can relate to I don't really find much that goes on in the earth <laughs> you know something to run and chase after you know what I mean I find like my spiritual life is far more important to me than than anything else and it's hard for people who are in a different religious path or spiritual path to relate to somebody who, who, I don't know. I mean, to me, when I think of like mysticism or whatever, this is something that makes total sense to me. You know what I mean? And it has since I was a kid, you know, I've always been drawn to that. And, um, you know, I, I don't believe that I'm doing anything wrong. And I understand that it does conflict with their religious views and let's just let god handle it that's the way i look at it you know what i mean um so anyway um so i guess tonight i'm gonna just kind of relax a little bit 
and get up tomorrow and do go to work and come home and then uh, kind of tidy up my house like I always do you know what I mean I guess I'm looking for some sort of activity to do outside of work um, only so I can kind of like you know break the routine a little bit um, I don't know what to do I, I think a lot of people are frustrated right now I know the whole COVID thing is going on it's made people more socially distant and stuff like that um, you know and I wouldn't mind taking some classes and stuff like that but to get out of the house I don't know what's really available right now and I have to see you know and I have to ask myself okay am I really ready to go outside of the house for a class every single day day or every other day I have to ask myself because I don't want to bite off more than I can chew you know what I mean um I think I've been through a lot so it's kind of like I I want to make sure that I can that I can actually keep up a routine like that like you know go to work and then go out in the evening and go to a class and then come home or whatever so I don't want to do anything that's gonna you know um that's gonna wear me down you know what I mean so I want to kind of take it slow and then try to maybe maybe take like an online class and then see how that goes and then move a little bit forward from there. I, I don't know. Um, I think that might be my best bet right now. But I'm trying to get my myself together, you know, and it is. I mean, I, I feel sometimes that people couldn't possibly re to re relate to what I'm feeling inside because, you know, it, it's very disturbing to know that. Um, all your life you know you've been mingling with people who literally had nothing but contempt for you and were planning to destroy you inside and out that that's disturbing you know what I mean and you know or wanted to force you into a lifestyle that you know you would have li I would have literally ended up killing myself seriously I, I would not want that life at all you know and it didn't matter if you like that life or not this is what they wanted to impose on you that's disturbing to you to, to anyone it would be disturbing to anyone when you really think about what that means it's like ooh, you know, oh god no um and i don't want people thinking oh maria's like a sad person she's all by herself no I, i'm fine by myself really i am um you know i'm not interested in dating anyone and i really resent the fact that they would think that they had the right to do something like that um, but I think what would be, I think what, I, what just about a lot of people, what a lot of people really want is it, which I wish I had like somebody I could really relate to, like somebody who had the same interest as me. Um, it would be cool if I, I met an, another black chick that was a lot like me, but you know, I'm not necessarily partial to my own kind, but I do think it's kind of cool. Like I know that I've had black friends in the, in the past and uh, it's nice to have black friends. It is, but you know, I, I would be open to, um, you know, other races and of course, but, um, you know, I, I would like to have somebody who shares my interests, somebody who likes mysticism, somebody who has a, a broad interest in music, somebody who, um, enjoys making arts and crafts. If, if somebody knows how to knit, that would be great. Cause I would love that. See, I mean, I know my, my hobbies are dorky, you know what I mean? And some people would think, well, gosh, you know, if I took care of myself, I'd go out and maybe like screw all these guys and everything. And I guess I'm just not like that. You know what I mean? Yes. I love clothes and stuff like that. I do. I love those sort of things, but that too is just an interest in a hobby, you know? And yeah, I do. I like sewing, you know, I haven't really sewed at all since I moved here. Um, and I'm hoping I can get, pick that up a little bit more in, um, in the autumn, maybe. Uh, but mostly I'll be making things for my house, like pillow covers and stuff like that <clears throat> and stuff like that, you know. So anyway, I just wanted to come up here and make a little video. I think I've done that. Um, not much moment going on with me. I'm hoping that I can get some sort of interesting things coming on in my life. Um, I think I, I crave that. I need that, you know, uh, to to survive basically because you know I, it, it causes depression when you're stagnant you know and um um oh i also want to think it's important for me to say i don't know why this came into my mind that i'm not somebody who wants to change the world to my worldview i, I never wanted to come off that way i i do think i am not happy with how a lot of people view things in the world and i'm not happy with a lot of things that most people accept as normal in the world but i am in no way trying to tell people hey you know you need to stop doing that so you need to live this way i i understand the world is meant to be a chaotic it's meant to be hell basically i i do believe that this earth that we live on well, not so much the earth but just the world the people 
Um, there's a lot of corruption out there. And I do believe it was meant to be that way. Like, I really believe that hell is here. Like, this is what hell is. It's, it's where we exist right now. And you can choose to be a part of it. And then you can choose to make other decisions. I choose not to be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of the kind of weird culture. Uh, when I say culture, that encompasses everyone. Like anyone who is who has the ability. It doesn't matter what race you are. It doesn't matter what religion you are. It's more like people who, who witness the sort of fads, the sort of lingo, the sort of um, ideas, the thought patterns, the um, just, you know, whatever, whatever. Like the trends. No, I'm not saying all trends are bad, but it is certain things that people adapt into their life that I don't really think is good. You know what I mean? And I don't go out around telling people, hey, you need not do that. You know, but this is my channel. And I, I think a lot of that was being imposed on me and I don't want it. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now, I myself don't want it. I just want to live a very, um, well, I guess kind of a solitary life. I do want some people in it, but you know, it, it's a matter of finding those individuals, you know? Um, but I want to be around people who have the same principles as me, you know, and I don't see anything wrong with that. Just like if, if I was, if somebody came up to me and said, you know, one day I want to build a family. Okay. And, and I would say, okay, well, what kind of person do you want to build a family with? They have to think really hard and it's better for them to build a family with somebody that has the same views as them. Otherwise, there's going to be conflict, right? So it only makes sense. Just like if you if you have a best friend, the reason why you have that best friend is because you guys relate to certain things, right? Well, I need somebody who relates to me that way. You know what I mean? And I don't think it's a wise decision to lower your standards because when you do, you are always going to deal with those people who want to impose their shit on you. You know what I mean? And I know some people accept this sort of stuff as normal, but no, it's not. It, it's normal in a sense where it's common, but it certainly isn't acceptable and it's not a healthy relationship. So anyway, I'm going to get off here and I'm going to go jump in the shower and I'm going to go throw on my pajamas and I'm going to go turn on some instrumental music and kind of get myself centered and then kind of enjoy the rest of the evening. So I hope you guys enjoy the evening as well. Take care. Bye-bye.